From helping out at homeless shelters to wearing makeup at the age of five, Suri Cruz, daughter of Katie Holmes and Tom Cruz, wasn't born into a normal family. So what's her life like now? The relationship between a child and their father should be nurtured and protected. Sadly, this doesn't seem to be the case with Suri Cruz and her absent father. Since Tom Cruise's last public outing with his daughter was in 2012, it's safe to assume that their relationship isn't on good terms. Although Tom stated that he still loves his daughter, the two haven't had much contact over the years. So much so that in 2016, In Touch Weekly stated that Tom had not seen or spoken to her in over two and a half years. Their strained relationship may have caused Suri Cruz to no longer reach out to her estranged father. Despite custody rulings limiting the number of times Tom could visit her, he seems to blame his fatherly shortcomings on his on-screen commitments. However, one source told the New York Post that Cruz could definitely see his daughter if he wanted to. Often, religious beliefs held by parents can wreak havoc on the livelihood of their growing child. Although Suri Cruz spent her earlier years close to those in the Church of Scientology, it was merely due to Tom Cruise's influence. Tom has become a prominent figure in the Church of Scientology ever since his first wife, Mimi Rogers, introduced him to the now controversial religion. I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Scientologist. What Katie Holmes described as an intense time for herself and her daughter resulted from a sudden, yet calculated break up that saw the actress escape the clutches of Tom's religious lifestyle. In a deposition regarding his $50 million lawsuit against Life in Style and In Touch magazines for defamation, Tom revealed that his religion may have played a role in his divorce, suggesting that their split was not only for her sake, but for Surrey's as well. When asked if Holmes wanted to stay away from Scientology to protect Surrey, Tom stated in the deposition, did she say that? That was one of her assertions, yes. Furthermore, when lawyers asked if Holmes still practices Scientology, Tom flatly said no. Alongside growing a distaste for the celebrity-centric religion, it seems that Holmes doesn't want her child to be involved with Scientology in any way. Her move from Los Angeles to New York City was likely an attempt to distance herself and her daughter away from the lifestyle she seemingly dislikes. Suri Cruz was fortunate enough to be born into wealth. Oftentimes, you'll find that children with her amount of notoriety have everything at their fingertips, making it easier for them not to be a good person. To prevent Suri from becoming that spoiled rich girl, Katie Holmes insisted on giving her daughter a normal upbringing. Through that, Holmes understood her role as a parent, telling today, I do a lot to put perspective on life. For that reason, she and Suri spend a lot of time giving back to those in need. Holmes told today, We help out the homeless. We do small acts of kindness. Again, it's a daily thing. Evidence of this can be found on her Instagram page, where she shared pictures of their trip to the Morian refugee camp in 2019. As a member of the nonprofit organization Art Illusion, Holmes volunteered alongside her daughter and several women to craft public art pieces in hopes of invoking positive change. While life at home for Surrey may yield privileges many of us wish to have as a child, it seems that Holmes is doing her part in making sure that Surrey is aware of those that are less fortunate, and doing all that she can to help out, all in the name of being a good human being. She's just a good person, she's just sweet. Surrey Cruz may have her mother's nurturing personality, but according to Katie Holmes, she definitely has her father's athletic ability. Knowing this may have influenced Holmes into allowing her daughter to fine-tune her gifts through whatever medium she chooses. Trying to understand your child's sporadic endeavors can be a harrowing task as a parent. However, Holmes intended to create a positive environment in which Surrey is encouraged to pursue her aspirations freely. From her earlier years in ballet to her now natural aptitude for singing, Surrey's freedom to engage in extracurricular activities shaped her into the multi-talented teenager she is today. While Holmes can pat herself on her back for raising such a capable individual, Surrey's strong personality also had a heavy hand in how she went about conquering certain goals. According to an interview with InStyle, Holmes revealed just how much of a hard worker her daughter is, stating, She'll pick an activity and work her butt off until she's really good at it. Then she's like, okay, I'm going to try the next thing. Rinse and repeat. To have this kind of mentality at a young age is truly inspiring. At this point, who knows what else the versatile teenager will master in the near future. Katie Holmes has expressed her desire to raise Surrey Cruz to be an individual. Through that, we may see Holmes use unpopular methods of achieving that, like allowing Surrey to wear lipstick at such a young age.
Although it doesn't directly harm a child's well-being, dousing your five-year-old daughter's face in makeup is something that most mothers would disapprove of immediately. Luckily for Suri, Holmes is far from a regular mom. For those still confused about why this was the case, her interview with Elle magazine in 2011 gave us insight into why this was allowed in the Holmes household. According to Holmes, Suri expressed interest in fashion when she was only four years old, a year before she was spotted wearing makeup. Holmes revealed that Suri doesn't hold back her opinions on the outfits her mom chooses to wear. Holmes told Elle, Like today, I'm wearing brown suede pants. And she said, I don't like your pants. But then she'll say, You've got to wear these shoes. Or, That's so pretty, Mom. Wear that. I know myself more because of her. Suri's strong opinions and advice on her mother's fashionable ensembles could have potentially led to her allowance to wear makeup. Suri's great eye for fashion caught the attention of the passionate fashionista herself early on. Despite public opinion, Holmes decided to stay faithful to her word and allowed her daughter to express herself through fashion. Ever since Holmes' 2012 divorce, she's been firm about raising Suri with the same values she was taught as a child. According to a close relative, Holmes took frequent road trips with Suri to introduce her to her extended family members in Toledo, Ohio. A Holmes family insider stated to Radar Online, As the youngest of five, Katie loved growing up in a big family. So, she wants exactly the same experience for Suri. In hopes of granting Suri a normal life, the family member revealed that Holmes wanted to introduce Suri to her cousins because she was worried Suri wasn't meeting enough kids her own age. Due to Tom Cruise's protective nature, Suri's life at that point was filled with nothing but luxury and privilege. The transition for the six-year-old princess wasn't easy, since she wasn't used to the concept of sharing her toys with her cousins. However, that slowly faded as the family member stated that her lively personality won them all over. The insider told Radar Online they'd only ever seen Suri in magazines and in family photos, so they felt extra special to meet a celebrity their own age. Although attending a $40,000 per year private school while living in a $25,000 a month penthouse apartment on the Upper West Side of Manhattan isn't exactly normal, Holmes does her best to give Surrey Cruz the chance to have a private life. Despite run-ins with paparazzi, Suri's appearance in public is usually alongside her mother. When Holmes first moved to New York after her divorce in 2012, she stated that she felt overwhelmed by the amount of attention she was getting. Holmes told InStyle, That time was intense. It was a lot of attention, and I had a little child on top of it. This intense time for the mother and daughter duo was likely the catalyst for their commitment to privacy. In hopes of straying away from the intrusive nature of the public, Holmes tries to shield her daughter away from the limelight as much as she can. An example of this is their date at the American Ballet Theater Spring Gala in New York. The two were spotted leaving the event on May 21, 2018. Suri, who was 12 at the time, reportedly remained close to her mother the whole night. The only time she wasn't hand-in-hand -hand with her mother was on the red carpet. While many assumptions could be made for why this may have been the case, it's safe to assume that Suri didn't take pictures with her mother because of the potential for unwanted attention. Throughout Suri Cruz's earlier years, we could see that her parents would get carried away and adhere to the wishes made by their princess. During Katie Holmes' appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show in 2014, the actress revealed just how demanding her daughter could be. With Christmas only being a month away, Holmes stated that this was an anxious time for her because she, quote, can't screw up talking to Santa. Although she revealed that her daughter was somewhat practical, Suri's attention to detail left us hoping that she wouldn't grow into a royal prima donna. Luckily, Holmes understood how over-gifting can warp a child's perception of life. With the endless amount of privileges Suri has, she made sure not to inundate her daughter with a lot of stuff. Despite being decked out in designer clothes as a child, Holmes made it clear that although Suri is privileged enough to be wealthy, that doesn't exclude her from working like everyone else. At 12 years old, Suri seemed to pick up on this, as she ran her own lemonade stand at New York City's LGBT Pride Parade in 2018. According to an eyewitness, Suri and her friends charged $2 per glass and offered rainbow-themed Rice Krispie treats for those in attendance. The eyewitness told Us Weekly she was very sweet and kind, telling everyone to enjoy their day and would smile whenever someone walked past. Very sweet. 